Hi everyone, today we are going to be having a look through what the um, pictures that I've completed in Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. There's quite a few in here, I've had this one for quite a while. So let's get going and make a start. So I remember doing this one as the very first one that I did when I did the um, flip through I think. And I wanted to make this bug look quite jewel like so it's got very bright red and the green wings have got glitter on. Um, but it's a little bit brash. I'm not sure I would do it like that again. But anyway, that's how I did it at the time. <laughs> now, let's move on to a full page picture. Here we go. Now this, um, this is the sort of door. Um, I did this with Prismacolor and I wanted to keep it quite muted. I really like colouring doors. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, the background is done with pastels but there's grey in there but I've also put in a bit of brown along the bottom and then some pink into it to sort of reflect this these flowers so it was a really interesting experiment which uh, which was good I, I was pleased with how it came out ah yes now I've always admired when people do watercolour pictures and they make little splodgy marks so that is exactly what I tried to copy so what I did with this one was I used my watercolor pencils and I did little circular movements but very um, um, exaggerated and darker colors greens here to lighter greens here and then when I um, wetted it I also did this sort of splodging and circling to try and get that effect I don't know how much it shows up on camera but um, it was really interesting it was quite I took a lot of patience and I can see it's certainly not perfect but it was uh, it was a good experiment and the spider he's colored in um, obviously browns and he's lighter in the center than the edge as you can see but what I've done is I've got a gold glitter pen and I've gone over I want to say all of the black but down here there's a bit that I haven't done <laughs> most of the black in glitter there's a bit up here I haven't done as well oh I have it's just this bit here I seem to have missed a bit down here anyway <laughs> but uh, that I just wanted to make him look a little bit more friendly I remember when I finished it I laid it out on the floor to dry in the sitting room and where I put my pictures just tucked away out of people's way of feet my husband came and went, that's terrifying. <laughs> Sorry, he really doesn't like spiders. Now this one was interesting. I um, I was really pleased with most of it. So I like these red ones and the blue ones and the these um, crystals and the brown ones. But these are too light, I think, for this picture. I think I should have done a green or something. I've never done green toadstools or or a darker orange something like that I feel like they're too pale compared to everything else but I like froggy in this crown and things like that you know and the sky is actually colored in pencil um, and I can see that it's um, been um, uh, a blender to try and make it better and each each of the toadstools has got apart from these ones at the very bottom has got a different colored metallic pen on to make them sort of shine so that was interesting Ah oh, yes, this one. I was really pleased with how this one came out. I'll put it in the middle to show you. It's quite difficult to get them um, flat for you without sticking my finger in all the pastel. Um, so these are coloured, I think, in Prismacolor. And I wanted quite a basic background. So I used quite a light pastel, pale pink, as you can see, and then a darker blue around. And I was really pleased with how that came out. And then these dots... Um, are all done in glitter pen. Now Mr Frog, um, I saw a picture with green and pink and I liked it so I thought I would have a go. I think it's okay but I'm not sure it's that good but you know the colours I mean together. I like how I coloured the frog, he, he um, came out well um, in the sort of bluey greens and uh, yeah I'm just you know the pink, I'm iffy on the pink. <laughs> now this was coloured as a sort of Christmas theme. I'm trying to... there we go. Um, I thought that they were leaves so I coloured them green and then put what I thought were red berries on them. And then of course looked over here and thought you know they're feathers. 
<laughs> but does it matter? Nah. So the background here done with um, soft pastels, we've got a bit of yellow around each of the leaf, um, feathers sorry, to make them stand out a little more. And then darker green around the edge. And there are some green stickles. Now these are, um, I'm trying to catch it in the light there. Um, the stickles are called Christmas Holly, I think. And oh, they've got, I've got them here. They are green. There it is. It's called Holly. So it's got green and gold and red in it. So it's it just worked really well with the yellow and everything else. So that was that was good. Now this picture I was ever so pleased with. Um, so obviously we have our sunflowers in the sort of traditional colour, but I wanted to keep it really warm. So that's why I decided to do the orange butterflies. O obviously you can get butterflies in orange, which was good, and put the black on, um, which butterflies often have. And the black is done in pen rather than um, pencil. And there's white on top, um, white pen. I think those are Posca's. But the background, the way it came out, I've gone from a sort of brownish, orangish to a much lighter yellow to the top. And I was just really pleased with how it came out. I like the sort of warmth of it and it just, just seemed to work. So that was good. Oh, we have two here. Um, so we have our bird. He has got his crown on, of course. Um, it's, I always like to do... Um, sort of red and um excuse me um red purple and green sort of emeraldy colored stones on crowns i think they work really well um i didn't do any purple on this one because we've got all the purple flowers and things i felt the purple and pink work quite well together you know it's just and the the circle around the edge i don't know if you can see has got um some glitter on it as well now this one is rather paler. Um, obviously these are quite dark and I spent a lot of time on these because I love colouring berries. And then the building. Not very good at buildings, I don't think. So I kept it quite pale. I probably should have been a bit more confident and done it a bit darker because it almost fades away compared to, particularly compared to this. Um, but this is the bit I wanted to stand out because it's my favourite bit. So, okay. Oh yes, this one. I was pleased with this one too. My pile of bookmarks is getting rather big. So we have here, obviously, our... Um, I wanted to sort of match it. These are dog roses, I thought, so that is their colour. And I so I thought I would do... I just did the outline, the pastel around the outside, and didn't do any in the middle around the butterfly, and I felt it helped the butterfly and the flowers to stand out more with the white. And uh, I just really felt that it all came together really well, that one. So I was happy with that. Ah oh, yes, this was my sort of Halloween-y um, one. Um, no background here because we've got quite a lot of really bold colours and I wanted them to really stand out. So for me, Halloween colours are orange and purple and bluey green. So that is what I put into the picture. Of course, black as well. And uh, I just did a bit of brown as contrast on our bat because I think that's what colour they are. I'm not entirely sure. So uh, yeah, I, I uh, enjoyed making that one look a little bit sort of Halloween-y. Now this, I think, was a, um, was a um, series. So we had um, one of each of these as a, um, a video. I particularly like this one. Um, the colour is really pretty, I think. Although it's quite a nice colour. I'm not sure what pencils I used. This one's quite bronzy, um, which is rather nice. I'm not very keen on that one, but I don't like the colour, but some of you may. <laughs> but uh, as I say, you can find those. So that is that. So that is the end of that book. Not quite so many in that one, perhaps, as um, last one I did, which was Seasons. Um, but anyway there we go so thank you for watching i hope that was inspiring for you and happy coloring